Hi guys, today's video, we're going to paint a tiger. Now, we're gonna do this a little bit differently than some of the other videos you've seen that I've done and that we're going to do a little underpainting using some acrylic paint and we're gonna do a wash and we're gonna wipe out. So, uh, without further ado, let's jump in on this tiger. Here you see I'm using acrylic paint and just going over the very rough sketch that I did of the tiger. It's just simply um, black, the ivory black acrylic paint and it just kind of emphasizes where everything's going to go and the nice thing about acrylic it dries super fast and it allows me to be able to do the oil based wash over this piece and uh, and it stays put that's the other good thing Here I'm putting the oil-based wash over it and doing the wipe out. The color I used here was transparent orange, earth orange by Gamblin. And then I'm just re-emphasizing some of my darker values of the orange. And I will continue to do some of the wiping out as well. Here I'm just putting a little bit more paint down and we're starting to actually fill in this tiger. You just see I'm putting more and more oil paint down. From this point on, I'm only using oil paint. The acrylic was only for the underpainting. And I couldn't help but put some of the detail in that eye. That's where the fun part happens. But this is, you're, normally I'm just going to be using a very broad stroke. There's not any detail going in at this point. I took it off of time-lapse and I, I just really wanted to illustrate something here. I think it's really important to have soft edges and so here on the very edge of this cat's face I'm trying to roll that edge of that white scruff of his of the face fur there into the background color and because I'm putting a light color in onto a dark background I'm constantly having to wipe my brush off to uh, to keep it clean but I'm just creating that little bit of a soft edge it just helps make the tiger become part of its background or the scenery it's not like it's patched in and that's just really what I'm trying to illustrate here
Well, that wrapped up nicely. I, uh, I, I like where we left off today. Um, be sure to tune in for the next video on the tiger painting. That's when we get in on all the fun detail. And uh, again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I will get to you. Um, and if you have any questions about any of the videos that you see on this channel, please let me know if there's something that you'd like to see painted or have, you know, I don't know, have a suggestion on a product review. I mean, obviously you can see I usually have a ton of stuff here. So there's always something that I can uh, uh, review for you, let you know what I think, et cetera, et cetera. Again, thanks for joining me today and be sure to tune in next time and please subscribe and give me some thumbs up and I appreciate it so much. So until next time, I'll see ya.